1920. Ready or not, here I come. Are you behind the costumes? No. Okay. Are you behind the bookshelf? Boom! Ah! You scared me. Sorry. Hey, do you want to play Chicken Little? Sure, as long as I get to be the fox. All right. Here you go, little guy. I'll get an acorn. Cluck, 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 just walking around the farm. I'm a big, tall tree. Walk under me. Cluck, 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 just hanging out. My acorn. Ah, my head. Wait, what hit my head? I don't know. It must have been the sky. Help, help, the sky is falling. Help. You make a great chicken. Now I'm going to be the head. No, 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 no. Help! Help! The sky is falling! Chicken Little, what's wrong? Henny Penny, Henny Penny. A piece of the sky fell and hit me on the head. And now, the rest of the sky will probably fall and smush us all. The sky is falling? The sky is falling! The sky! The sky is falling! Help, help! Now I'll be the duck. The sky is Henny falling. Penny, what in the world is going on? Oh, Ducky Lucky. The sky! The sky is falling, and it's gonna smush us all! Oh no! The sky is falling? The sky is falling! Help! 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 The sky is falling! Now I'll be the fox. No, 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 no. Help! The sky is falling! Oh, Ducky Lucky! What's the problem? Oh, Foxy Loxy, the sky is falling, and it's gonna crush us all! And you're sure why? Well, Henny Penny told me, and Chicken Little told her. And you're telling me, so it must be true. Come, we better take cover. Here, quick, come to my den. Thank you, Foxy. Yes, this feels much safer. And what about a little duck dinner? A what? Ah! Ducky Lucky ran away from the tricky fox. And Chicken Little? Henny Penny and Ducky Lucky learn that whenever they're scared, just to take a deep breath and be calm instead. And they all lived happily ever after. Okay, my turn to count. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at that smug duck. This silly duck can't stop admiring himself in the mirror. Smug duck is very vain. What a lovely perfume. What could the little duckling be up to? <laughs> what a fiendish little duck! <laughs> be careful, smug duck! A very smug duckling very happily went for a walk. His tail was well perfumed. Boom bada doom bada doom. He crossed paths with a lady duck and wanted to win her affection. The lady duckling kept walking. Boom, bada doom, bada doom. <laughs> There's your diamond necklace. 
cool. <gasps> what about sunglasses? You look super fancy. Thanks. What do you want to dress up as? Hmm. Ooh, I know. Want to play Country Mouse and City Mouse? Cool. Yeah. Here's my nice green meadow. Nothing but peace and quiet around here. I'm bored. And here's my big fancy city house. I need a vacation from all this excitement. I'll go visit my cousin in the country. The suitcase is perfect. I'm walking to the country. Walk, walk, walk. I'm walking to the country. Walk, walk, walk. You live far. Cousin, is that you? All the way from the big city. It's so good to see you. So, what do you do in the country? Uh, well, we could play in the grass. Okay. We could watch the stars. Uh, okay. We could look for food. Sometimes I find a nut or berries. Or we could eat what I brought. I've never seen so much food. This is nothing. The giants that live in my house leave stuff like this all over the place. Whoa. So, what do you do in the city? Well, I guess you could say we count the stars too. But in the city, there are big, shiny, flashy lights in every color of the rainbow. Whoa. Yeah, it's mostly going from one adventure to the other. The city sounds amazing. I wish I could visit you. Okay, let's go. We're walking to the city. Walk, walk, walk. We're walking to the city. Walk, walk, walk. Welcome to my mansion. Looks like the giants left quite the feast. This is awesome. We need a city cat. Oh, right. Uh... I got it. You eat. OK. Mmm. Tasty. That's enough adventure for me, thanks. I miss the nice, quiet country. Oh, well, come visit any time. You too. And so, from then on, the country mouse was grateful for his peaceful life in the country. And the city mouse was grateful for a crazy life in the city. And, and they, they both, both lived happily ever, ever after. after. So, what should we dress up as next? I think I saw some pig ears back there. Cool. Hi! I'm playing Ocean Adventure with my friend. Do you want to play with us? Awesome! My friend is pretending to be a sea turtle. She's very shy, so sometimes she hides behind coral reef. I wonder where she is. Turtle! Are you over here? What was that? Just the sound of waves, I guess. I wonder if she's over here. I see turtle? Turtle, are you teasing me? Turtle, are you behind the seaweed? Phil! There you are. Do you want to do the turtle rhyme with me? Sure. And you can rhyme with us too. There was a little turtle. She lived in the sea. 
She swam in the waves. She swam past me. She snapped at a mosquito. She snapped at a flea. She snapped at a minnow. She even snapped at me. She caught the mosquito. She caught the flea. She caught the minnow. But she didn't catch me. I almost got you. Not a chance. Hey, do you want to play underwater tag? Not, Not it. Fine. I'll be it. But I'm changing costumes so you better swim fast. So fast. Here I come. Once upon a time, there lived a fisherman. He lived in a tiny shack by the ocean and worked hard every day to catch enough fish to feed his many children. One day, as the fisherman cast his line into the water, he felt a tug. And he reeled in his catch. When all of a sudden, caught on his hook, the fisherman discovered a golden fish, unlike any fish he had ever seen before. However, the fisherman's surprise grew when the golden fish opened its mouth and began to speak. Please, said the golden fish, release me from your hook. Set me free in the water and I will grant you whatever you wish. The fisherman had not caught many fish that day, but still he took pity on the golden fish and decided to let him free. As soon as the golden fish was safe in the water, it turned to the fisherman and said, Thank you, sir, for setting me free. Now, what is it that you wish? And I will make it be. The fisherman thought of his family, crowded into their old rundown shack, and he knew what to wish for. Golden fish, I wish for a nice big house for my family. And so it will be, said the golden fish. I hope you enjoy your wish. And if you ever need me, call out to the waves and I will come. The fisherman hurried home to tell his family about the golden fish. When he arrived, he couldn't believe his eyes. Where once stood his tiny shack, there was now a big, beautiful house with plenty of room for his many children. The fisherman told his family all about his wish for a new house, which the golden fish had clearly granted. For a while, the fisherman's family lived happily in their home. But before long, the fisherman's sons and daughters began to complain. Dad, why didn't you ask for a bigger house? We want a mansion with fine clothes and fancy things. So the fisherman hurried back to the ocean and called out to the golden fish. With a splash, the golden fish peeked its head out of the water. I see you've returned, said the fish. What is it that you need? Well, said the fisherman, thank you for the house. But what we really need is an enormous mansion filled with fancy clothes and fine things. And so it will be, said the golden fish. I hope that this time you truly enjoy your wish. But if you ever need my help, call out to the waves and I will come. The fisherman ran back to his family and found an enormous mansion filled with the fanciest clothes and the finest things that he and his family could have ever imagined. The fisherman and his family lived in their mansion and for a while, they were happy. However, not very long after, the fisherman's sons and daughters began to complain again. Dad, why didn't you ask the golden fish for a palace? We want a golden palace and a kingdom to rule too. And so the fisherman returned to the ocean. And called out to the golden fish. And with a splash, the golden fish emerged from the water. I see you've returned again, said the golden fish. What could you possibly need now? Well, said the fisherman, I wanted to thank you for the mansion. But what we really need is a castle and a great big kingdom to rule. Ah, said the golden fish. I think I know 
exactly what your family needs. Go, fisherman, and do not call me again. So the fisherman hurried back home. But when he arrived, there was no castle. There was no mansion, not even a house. All that remained was a tiny shack. And so the fisherman ran back to the ocean and pleaded and begged for the golden fish to return. But the golden fish never appeared again. And so the fisherman and his family, they returned to their tiny shack by the ocean. And they had no fancy clothes and no fine things. But they had each other. And that was what the golden fish said. That, indeed, was exactly what they needed. The, the end. end. Mother Goose Club Playhouse!